Coverage you can count on from your good neighbor station. This is KGNS News at 10. A search for a suspect quickly escalates to a shootout at a busy Laredo intersection this afternoon, leaving three Laredo police officers shot. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ann Hutera. Jerry has the night off. Three Laredo police officers are in serious condition tonight after what police are describing as a day-long case that ultimately led to an officer-involved shooting. We have team coverage on how the events unfolded. We start off with our Michelle Pedraza, who joins us live. Michelle, how did all of this start off this morning? Morning. Well, and it's been a very long day for Laredo PD. This morning, officers discovered the body of a 50 year old woman in her apartment located on the 400 block of Travis Street. She had been shot to death. According to police, the suspect was her boyfriend. Police were called out to the 400 block of Travis Street early Friday morning by someone who had been concerned about the tenant of the apartment, 50-year-old Reina Gonzalez Zamora. When police arrived on scene, they found Zamora shot to death by a single bullet wound in the upper torso. According to LPG, 55-year-old Antonio Gerardo Rodriguez was in a relationship with Zamora. Uh, I believe he was in a domestic relationship with her, like a boyfriend. The homicide led to a citywide search by LPD and other law enforcement for Rodriguez, who had been seen in a silver Explorer as police were working towards an arrest warrant in relationship to the homicide. The body of Zamora was taken to the Webb County Medical Examiner's Office for an autopsy. Detectives were on scene talking to neighbors in the area, trying to get as much information as they could to try and piece together what led up to the shooting. But they say they're still in the midst of the investigation. Why it happened, uh, we still don't have those answers. Police say. Police say they're looking, they're not looking for other suspects in this homicide. Rodriguez was the primary suspect. Officials are still not sure what led up to the shooting of the victim. The investigation is still in its early preliminary stages. Anne. All right, thank you, Michelle. Now, the lookout for Antonio Gerardo Rodriguez took a tragic end this afternoon. KGNS News reporter Alex Gano is live from the location where that deadly encounter took place a little after four this afternoon. Alex, now this search for the suspect escalated pretty quickly. That's right, and police were only on the lookout for Rodriguez because he was only wanted for questioning. Earlier this afternoon, they allegedly found Rodriguez right behind me at the corner of Hillside and McPherson. However, the deadly encounter took a tragic and deadly turn. This is cell phone video of officers confronting a man at a busy stripe store on McPherson just before 5 p.m. You can see several bystanders run into the store. Several rounds of shots were fired while police closed off the area and took cover. Police had been looking for Rodriguez, who was considered armed and dangerous. Law enforcement saw Rodriguez driving a silver 2002 Ford Explorer sports track. Multiple law enforcement agencies had been on the search for the truck since this morning. The man believed to be Rodriguez was eventually gunned down. He later died due to his injuries at a Laredo hospital, 5 p.m. And Laredo police was trying to avoid and prevent a situation like this from happening. Now three Laredo officers are currently at a hospital tonight. Reporting live from McPherson, Alex Gano for KJNS News. All right, thank you, Alex. Now, here's a look at the area we're talking about. That deadly confrontation happened in the parking lot of a gas station at Hillside and McPherson. Keep in mind, this was around 5 o'clock in the afternoon, so there's typically a lot of traffic in that part of town. That shooting happened more than five hours ago, and still tonight, McPherson is closed for traffic around the crime scene. Officers are still out there processing that scene tonight. And on the minds of everyone tonight, of course, are those three officers who were shot during this whole ordeal. Our Marco Revelta is outside at the Laredo Medical Center tonight. He's been trying to get information on the officers that were involved. Now, Marco, what have you been able to learn about these three officers who were shot? And we just spoke with the chief of police who tells us those officers will be okay. He's happy to report that. Now, this is what we've learned to today so far about those officers. We know it was a total of four of them that were injured today. 
three by gunfire, one possibly by glass. We can confirm one of the officers was taken to San Antonio. Chief Claudio Trevino says that officer is in critical but stable condition and says that two other officers are were also in critical but stable condition as well. Now, at this time, police is not releasing the names of those officers, but we have learned those officers are veterans in the force. Well, this is this is one of the worst um, worst things that can happen uh, to any officer to be to encounter this type of situation. It's a scary situation. We train for this and we prepare for this, but uh, like anything else, you're not fully ready until you you live through one of these incidents. Um, our officers again put their lives on the lines for, uh, for for our community, and they continue to do so day in day out. Again, happy to report that our officers are in decent condition and uh, will continue to provide service to the community as well. Once again, Chief Martinez says he is happy to report all the officers are expected to be okay and thanks the community for their outpour of support and prayers during this terrible accident. Of course, we'll keep on working to bring you any new de details and bring those to you later on today. Reporting live from the LMC for KGNS News, I'm Marco Revolta. All right, thanks, Marco. Busy day for everyone involved. And like you said, we're going to continue to follow this story for you and bring you the very latest. And of course, our thoughts tonight are with all those officers involved in today's ordeal.